Greetings folks, I'm your host Nomo and today I'm going to be teaching you how to mic up an entire drum kit using nothing but the Cardioid Classic microphone, the Shure SM57. I'll be giving you guys the raw drum sound, the processed drum sound and the processed drum sound in a mix so that you can look at it from different perspectives and if you do like the sounds, stick around for the explanations and um, yeah, do consider subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with your friends and peers. By the way, make sure you're listening to it on a good set of headphones or on decent studio monitors to know what's going on in a proper fashion. Songja Terang, the drummer from Kumchirui, is helping me with this video. Um, yeah, he's playing the drums because I can't play for So those are the drum sounds I'm getting from a single SM57. Look, I'm not saying it's the best sound in the world, but it's definitely usable. And when you're on a budget or if you have limited, you know, just a single channel interface, then maybe you can use this and stop complaining. I mean, I could have used an omnidirectional microphone or a bidirectional microphone, but why did I choose an SM57? That's because it's the most common microphone in the world when it comes to project or even professional studios. And second thing, it's really cheap. So almost anyone running a small setup can afford to buy one. And you can obviously use this sound. It's definitely usable to cut a small demo or maybe if you're just recording yourself and you want to send a sample to your you know, studio engineer or something like that. I mean, the absence of limitation is the enemy of art. So yeah, if you stay under limitations, you'll be forced to come up with more creative measures, isn't it, sir? I also understand that this is not the most ideal setup and if I were going for my drum sound, I'd be using at least, say, four microphones, kick, snare, two on the overheads, but this video is all about using one microphone. Now for the quick explanation, I'll do it with pictures. <clears throat> the point here is to capture everything without really overemphasizing on any one element because we just have one microphone with us. So the SM57 is placed above the kick drum, slightly off center from the beater and pointing towards the middle of the snare drum, um, middle as in not the batter head's middle, but the depth's middle so that it captures both the batter head and the spring sounds. It's also placed in between the rack and the floor toms so that it captures both of them equally. Here's another angle showing you where the snare is pointing for the snare drum. And another angle of it. At first glance, it might look like the SM57's polar pattern is not really in favor of the right symbol. But we must also remember that they are really, really close in proximity right now. And also that sound doesn't travel like a laser light. It spreads like the ripples when you throw a small pebble in a pool. Of course, there will be compromises in the sound. We are just using one mic. And here's an overhead view of the entire drum kit. The symbols here are CB and SBRs, beginner symbols for the beginner drummer. Um, yeah, so that's about it, man. So yeah, that's it. If you like what you heard and saw, give this video a thumbs up. Or if you didn't, give the thumbs down and make sure you comment down below on something which I may have missed or something like that. And um, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you again next time. Till then, stay sweet. I'm out.